Let's see how we can create Python environment in Windows 10 or Windows 11. First of all, you need to install Python. Now, if you already have Python installed, you can skip this part. And if you don't have Python installed, just go through this as well. First of all, go to this URL. I will have all the steps and all the links in the description. So you can copy this from there. And as you can see, initially, uh, you can just click on this button, download Python 3.11.3 from here. It's the latest version. But if you want some older version, you can just scroll down and choose any one of these from here. So let's say we want this one, which is actually the latest. So you just click on download here and you scroll down and there are a lot of files here. So what you want to do is you want to download one of these two. So which one do you want? So what you want to do is you want to check your OS bit. Okay, so to do that, uh, press Windows and R and write DXDIAG and click OK. And as you can see here in operating system, it's showing 64 bit, right? So you download the 64 bit version. Just click on this and it will be downloaded. I already have this downloaded here. So once this is downloaded, click on open file and you can choose to install uh, like customized installation, but no need to do that. You need to do install this because it already includes IDLE, PIP and all this good stuff. So IDLE is like an IDE for Python and PIP is used to install another pick Another Python packages like TensorFlow or NumPy or uh, you know all that other good stuff. So you'll also want to check this so that you can use Python.exe from command line. Okay, and click on install now. Hit yes. Let it install. Okay, so it's showing step was successful and all this stuff right so that means it is installed but now we need to see if it is accessible from command line because if you want to run scripts mostly you'll be doing it from command line so press cmd and start and let's see if it's working or not yeah as you can see we are inside this thing now this is working because we had checked that add to path by part if you forgot to do that we will see how we can add python to path uh, in some other tutorial so Let's print and see if it's working or not. Hello from Python. Okay, it is working. All right. So after Python is installed, what you need to do is create a new folder. You don't need to create a new folder to create an environment. I'm just showcasing real world examples. Like let's say you are creating a new Python web scraper, right? And let's open this folder. Now, why do we need to create environments in Python or environment variable, sorry, <laughs> virtual environments? Because there might be some modules that will be installed just in this project. And the other projects that we have might be using different versions of that module. So we will create a virtual environment and we will install specific versions of packages in that virtual environment that will be used only by this project. All right. This is mainly for isolation of modules. So first hold shift and right click and open PowerShell window here. Now, if you are in Linux or if you are in uh, Mac OS, you can open terminal and go to your project directory. Now what you need to do is first you need to type this command to create a virtual environment. Python M V E N V and you can give any name. So this is actually V E N V. Uh, you are not probably able to see this. And after this you need to type the name that you give to your virtual environment, let's right? say my underscore my underscore v e n v. Hit enter, and your virtual environment is being created for now. Now, if I put it down here and refresh this, as you can see, my v e n v is created. All right, so this, as you can see, this includes all the base from our base Python version, all the required things from our base Python version. Now, how to make our project use this, the models in this thing? First of all, what you need to do is you need to activate this. Just creating the virtual environment is not enough. You need to activate this. So to do that in Windows, you need to type my underscore v and v. After that, scripts. After that, activate. Right? So hit enter. 
don't forget this dot here now you will see this my va and v in front of your uh, directory this means that this virtual environment is activated now whatever you do whatever modules you install or uninstall will be used in this virtual environment so if i install let's say pip okay first let's not install it first let's get an error now if i create a new file here new text file let's call it main.py let's open this and let's import something here right okay let's import uh, let's say not by let's print hello word now if I run this file now this file is created right so if I open my terminal and run this file using python main.py now it will give me an error no module named numpy because this is using python from this venv and this venv does not have numpy installed so what I can do is I can pip install numpy and numpy is being installed so after numpy is installed we will try to run this again python main.py and this time hello world is printed because numpy is installed in our virtual environment and our project is using python from this virtual environment so this is how you can create virtual environments in python if you have any questions let me know in the comments below